And tell me a little bit about working with Abby. Um, I loved working with Abby so much. She was um, a tremendous inspiration. And um, she's just kind of fiercely, um, fiercely protective of the way she works and fiercely protective of her instincts, which she trusts completely. And um, she's very, very in the moment and doesn't like to kind of, um, doesn't like to rehearse too much or prepare too much or give too much away beforehand. But when you're acting opposite her on screen, she, she's capable of re unleashing amazing things. And I feel very privileged to kind of been able to uh, witness that. What about working with Paul? Paul is um, a kind of different kettle of fish altogether and equally uh, wonderful. Um, so uh, kind of playful and funny and anarchic. And you never, you never kind of knew where he was going to come from, you know, with, in a scene. Or, um, <laughs> and he, he, it was very surprising. And I think that's, um, that's a, a quality that kind of comes through in, in his portrayal. Um, any like, fun stories from the set at all? I understand you and Paul went on a trip to mm -hmm. London. Uh, we went on a trip to uh, the Lake District. Uh, Jane sent us there because John Keats and uh, Charles Brown did a long trip to, uh, to the north of England. So Paul and I got sent there to, to climb some mountains, which we, we didn't really, uh, we kind of copped out of. Because <laughs> uh, it was, you know, it was cold and we set out late and it was getting dark and I think we kind of people were coming down the mountain <laughs> as we were starting to go up it. So then we kind of, yeah, we veered off and got lost in a farmer's field and got, sh you know, shooed off and thought we were gonna get shot at and stuff like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was really great fun and a really great bonding uh, thing for me and, for me and Paul. Um, I guess I'd just like to say that I hope that it's a, a film that um, in these times when we communicate so much through Twitter and through Facebook and through Hotmail, that it, it's a film that really places so much emphasis on intimacy and sensitivity to sensitivity between human beings. And I think that's its message in a way. And I feel really proud to, to be in a film that uh, is endorsing that. In, in, in the world that we live in now. That's what I'd say. Yeah. Bright Star from Jane Campion, rated PG, now playing in select cities.